bringing children and families into our park to stay and play for a lifetime. Providing quality and affordable recreation that invites all to come out and play. Fostering partnerships that invest in forward-thinking, world-class facilities. And supporting innovation and welcoming new ideas from those we employ and serve. Chicago Parks are your parks. I'm General Superintendent and CEO Mike Kelly. Welcome to Chicago at Play. Who's at the top of the list when it comes to excellence in parks? Let the bragging rights begin as Chicago Parks have just earned a first ever national gold medal. The National Recreation and Park Association Gold Medal. It's an award awarded to park districts all around the country and it recognizes excellence and it recognizes who's the best of the best in the park business. We take the responsibility of serving the citizens of Chicago seriously and so it's nice to be recognized for the hard work we do. So the application process really starts about a year ago, and it's a very arduous task to put the application together. I can't thank the staff enough. It takes a lot of hands on deck, especially when you're as large as we are. We're in the Category 1 competition, which is 400,000 and above city populations. The Chicago Park District is an integral part of citizens' lives. The Gold Medal Award is the highest honor in parks, given for a variety of objectives. When they're choosing for the gold medal, they're looking at various things such as programs and landscapes and innovative ideas, sculptures, art, all of that. And Chicago really came out on top, obviously, with such things as our innovative ideas of park points or nights out in the park. And nights out in the park is anything from movies in the park, which everyone knows about, to the circus programs, and then things like yoga in the parks and theater in the park and music in the parks. All right, the bigger frog's coming out, bigger frog's coming out. We were selected for excellence by the national standards and this is like winning the Super Bowl in the park business. One of my favorite reasons was because of the health and wellness initiative that we have at the Chicago Park District. It's our national-wide model of our vending machines, which are all healthy vending from beverage to snacks, to our summer food program, and also the physical activity programs we offer, such as Park Family Wellness, which offers 400 fitness classes throughout the Chicago Park District and nutrition education. It's building new programs and staying on the cutting edge of what's relevant in society. So one thing that we really pushed while we were a finalist is creating gold medal kids. And what a gold medal kid means is that they eat smart, they're physically active, they're stewards of the park so they learn how to recycle and take care and pride in their park. They learn through the day camp and the park program. So what we did to build up momentum, to build sort of a campaign was, we had the gold medal travel around. Kids were getting stickers, we were taking funny pictures on the beach with the gold medal, all in the hopes that we would win. And that's what Chicago is about, is, is, is free fun um, in the parks, and um, you know, we capitalize on that and it's good to get some recognition for that. The Chicago Park District is incredibly proud of this achievement, and wants everyone to know it. Sort of like the Stanley Cup, it's gonna visit all the parks. Uh, it's gonna be there for kids to touch and see, and it, uh, it'll, it's going to make people, it's going to, in my opinion, reinvigorate pride uh, in the individual neighborhoods and communities about their local park. So we'll be bringing that gold medal around where people can see it and touch it and actually feel a part of that gold medal because it is really all of Chicago that really took us to this level of being a gold medal winner. When Mayor Emanuel took office, he challenged me to win the gold medal and that was June of 2011. And I had to remind him that Chicago had never won the gold medal before. That was more of an opportunity in his mind than a challenge. And I'm proud to say three years later, in his first term, under his leadership, we brought home the gold. I think for the people that use the parks, I think hopefully they understand that they live in a city where they are fortunate to have people who work hard on their behalf. The folks who work at the Park District are second to none on passion, on knowledge, on professionalism. Our projects, Maggie Daly Park, Silatex, Bloomingdale Trail 606, those are capital projects second to none, and our programs. We're the largest programmer in the country, and we've grown almost 30% in our programs just in the last three years. You do that, you take the technology, you take the art component, the partnerships with other organizations, we knit the fabric, we knit the communities of Chicago together and, and make this a livable city. 